Hello again. Now that we have our Django console fixed, we can actually start working on our Django project. Uh, everything seems to be fine. So maybe let's start with looking at the structure, Django structure in here. So as you might remember, the way I started this project was I called it Marex Portfolio using PyCharm. So I just started a new project. Um, I selected Django and I just named it Marex Portfolio. All the settings were fine for me. So all the defaults are there. It created my environmental, uh, sorry, virtual environment. And it also kind of set up the the core of the of, of Django. So we have the main folder here, which is named exactly the same as this folder. One difference here is if I change the, the name of this folder, which is like an overall container of everything, I'm not going to break anything because it's just a container. It's where my project is. If I change this name though, that's going to break some things. Like for example, if you watched the previous video where I ch changed the uh, one of the settings where I said, look for settings in Marx portfolio dot settings. If I change this name, it's not going to find it anymore because it's exactly in this location. And that's how Django knows where to find things. So this you can change in the future. If you want to change the name of, of this folder, it's not a problem, but this has to stay. Once you set it, once you start Django project with this name, uh, some settings will be set for this name. So don't, don't mess with this. And inside of this folder, you have a couple of files. Uh, the two that you are going to use the most are settings py and urls py. Settings py uh, is open here. And so basically this is where Django gets its own, saves its own set, all settings. So for example, you have some installed apps that Django is aware of and is using for this project. So middleware that we'll be using. And it's, as you can see, it's all Python. It's a, it's a Python list with strings, but Django knows how to decode this string into its own kind of where to find things. Uh, in here we have some, uh, some other settings. I'm not going to go through it yet because it doesn't make sense. Uh, they all just like in, in preferences for PyCharm, they all have some, uh, some meaning all those all those settings here so exactly the same this file works it's just settings place settings settings file file in in for django but you, i'm sure you're you're uh, you use some settings in the in the past maybe for games maybe for for office or anywhere else you did stuff like this it's exactly the same you just do it a little bit more you know uh, in a in a more programmatic way anyway URLs file is the main file that controls our URLs. So if we actually, I can show you what, what that does straight away. So we did, we did nothing with this project. We just started it, but we were able to, to run it, to go to the website. It's a local website. So if you see one, two, seven, zero, zero, one, this is a, a local host, um, URL. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it yet. Uh, but just, just so you know, it's not somewhere on the internet. It's just on your machine and 800 is the port that we are using. So here, here we are, it works fine. And if we go to, and let's have a look here, slash admin, we should be able to access something. And here it is, there is some admin thing. We're gonna talk about admin uh, page in a sec, in another video. So, but just so, so to show you how URL and how easily, how simply URL's uh, PY uh, file works, it just, you just say what it's gonna be. So what's the URL, URL is supposed to look like. And then we say where to go to get that, uh, to, to, you know, to get the information to display there. And uh, we're gonna talk about that in another video as well. These two files, I wouldn't really talk about them, at least not now, because they don't really play that huge of a, of a, of a role. Um, so templates, this is where we store our HTML templates, uh, virtual environment. This is where um, our virtual environment is, is generated, created. So what virtual environment is, it's the place where we kind of, we install all our packages. We have our virt virtual variables uh, and so on. So instead of like, if you go to your apps uh, on your computer, you have like loads of apps. So imagine you have like a virtual computer on your computer and you say, Hey, just kind of start a new computer with like no apps whatsoever. I don't want to mess with my old apps. I don't want to uh, mess with all the apps I have on my on my computer. I just have, a, I want to have like a fresh start, install whatever I need and, and maybe th the same stuff that I have already, but maybe different ver versions or different configurations. So this is where you store kind of your, your, your setup. Uh, here we have a database file. Uh, we're using SQLite 
uh, for now, we will move to Postgres in the future. And manage py, it's a file that we never change. It's it's kind of like an entry gate to Django. We'll use this name very often. We will use this file very very often, but not we will never change it because Django did J Django team made it for us, and we just use it as a kind of entry gate. So that's the um, that's the structure of Django. We're gonna create a new app now, and you'll see how the structure changes. And but that's for another video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.